okay? You are loved. And don't let your stink anxiety or depression win, okay? Cause it ain't that deep. It really ain't that deep, y'all. <laughs> This ain't what you want. All right, y'all. So, boom. I know I look a hot mess, okay? <clears throat> and I never start a video off like this, but hmm, I just in the in the spirit of being vulnerable, and you never knowing who. Who you may help today is my 33rd birthday i look like this because i have been crying but not crying because i'm sad today so initially i was okay this was going to be a very sad girl birthday because um and i really can't believe i look like this on camera because i know i look a mess just sidebar okay i promised myself i would never get on al gore's internet and be crying okay because one i'm a very ugly crier the girls who know y'all know I'm emotional, but I'm also a very ugly crier, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> but again, I had been crying. Um, I have been like, February is always a very weird month for me. Like, it's so weird. Um, in the past couple days, slowly but surely, I've been letting like anxiety win. And then if you have anxiety, when it goes unchecked, it turns into depression, okay? So it's like where anxiety and depression meet, that's where I've been, okay? And yesterday, the Sunday and yesterday was bad, real bad. You know, I try to do the, the right stuff, like cut on church in the background because I really didn't have it. That's the first Sunday I've missed of church and I'm really sad about that. Last year I was missing every Sunday, okay child? But <laughs> I set goals this year because even if I'm still acting a fool, I feel like I'm working toward being better. But anyway, um, try to do the things that I needed to do, listen to some prayer, listen to some sermons, but you know, when you know, you know, okay? All right, so that just wasn't working. Anyway, yesterday was another day that I was just kind of dragging. Like, I was trying to do more stuff. And what I mean is, like, get my place together because my apartment is a mess. And, like, get outside and talk to people and interact. <laughs> uh, besides laying in my bed. And I did, but, you know, I still felt funky, right? But we're going somewhere with this. Stay with me. Get you a tribe. Okay, get you a tribe of good people who really love you. You got to be careful when you pray that prayer, like, Lord, remove people from my life because he will. But he'll always bring people in your life that you need. And my tribe right now, I prayed on it for so long. And I know that it's still like growing and changing. But to have the people in my life who like, to have people in my life who really, like, love me, like, love me, baby, that hit different. It really do. It it really does. Um, And then to get kind words, it's always funny to see, especially when you're a self-sabotager and you're very hard on yourself like me. It's always funny to see, like, what value do I add to people's lives? Because I'm always wondering that. I think you should be adding value in some type of way, right? So I always wonder, like, what value am I adding? And is it the value that I aim to add, which is honestly just a little joy? A little joy and a little encouragement, boo. And if I can make you laugh along the way. Because I'm funny as <laughs> I mean, to me, David agrees. I'm the funniest person I know. Uh, his friend outside but anyway to get so much pouring of love today i'm just been like oh y'all love me <laughs> and y'all care about me and i have one lost sister yesterday she pulled up on me 
Again, I feel like she my guardian angel. I ain't going to say her by name. I ain't going to say her by name, but she pulled up on me yesterday just to give me that hug. And she don't know how much I needed that hug. <laughs> like, she don't know. So, I said that to say, keep showing up, okay? You are loved. And don't let your stank ass anxiety or depression win, okay? Because it ain't that deep. It really ain't that deep, y'all. <laughs> we just be torturing ourselves, child. We do. And God gonna pull you through every time like he has, child. That I do know. That I do know, 100%. He ain't failed. Wow. I'm trying to motivate the people. And you in my way. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> but God ain't gonna fail y'all that's it that's all I just wanted to encourage y'all because I am oh first day of Pisces season and I'm being a real Pisces okay child <laughs> this feels very light skin light skin behavior but anyway what a welcome to my channel if this is your first time here I hope you were blessed if you've been here child I know you was blessed amen okay um so <laughs> We are about to go to the gym. That's why I look a mess. Uh, well, that's not the only reason. My face is breaking out, as y'all can see. Life after 30s, adult acne. And I blame myself because I always used to pick on people who had acne. I'm not going to lie. I did. Now, not pick on them like, ha, ha, acne face. But I just be like, damn, y'all really struggling like that because I've had to do nothing for almost 30 years to my face. And after 30s, my skin started changing. And this year, like as of late, especially with my period, we're all grown here. Even if you're a man, we all grown here. The girls are getting periods or the girls are pregnant or in menopause. So, anywho, my body is changing. My hormones is changing. My period feel different now. And guess what? That comes with face breakouts and all of these and i know i'm not supposed to be touching my face but all of these have happened now within the course of like weeks so when i decided i was gonna do stuff for my birthday i decided one i'm about to go get a workout in because we thankful that we have our limbs to move okay and then i'm going to go get a nice facial i'm going to the waldorf astoria today i don't know if that's how you say it but that's where i'm going I ask him when I get there how you really say it, but I'm going there. I'm getting a nice facial. I'm not going to be doing this all the time, but I do think I'm going to start incorporating like getting facials into my self-care routine because this ain't it. This is my money maker. Okay. <laughs> like, no, I don't like this at all. I think that's another reason I've been really like down because not that I'm the most vain person, but I, again, I've never had to deal with acne before, period. So trying to put a skincare routine together this last like six months has been very hard for me. And I do watch the girls, but I feel like, as you all know, what works for some people don't work for you. Even if it's working for the majority, it may not work for you. And when I was younger, I had eczema and all that other shit. So I really do feel like, Maybe I have sensitive skin because I actually still have to use all for my detergent. Actually, I do have sensitive skin now that I think about it. Because if I use anything outside of all, my skin will start breaking out. I spilled something on my leg the other day and I had hives. Yeah, I got sensitive skin. Wow, that's something to think about. Hmm. Look how you'll talk yourself through things sometimes. But yes, <laughs> I'm about to go to the gym. I got a facial book. I'm going to do a nice dinner tonight. I may do a staycation. I hadn't decided yet. Or I may buy a really expensive bag today. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going to be kind to myself. I'm going to be thankful that God has given me another year. I ain't going to squander this day. And yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Look down on it. Everything.
everything good And you know that I want to swoop down on ya yeah. yeah, I see something in you, love mama I just drink poem yeah. Never stay around for a nigga that often I'm just trying to talk with you yeah. Something seem wrong with you, girl I know you really wanna calm down, baby, yeah some chapstick i don't know where it's at okay i just took my birthday shot which was a organic ginger shot Ugh, we'll use this one i don't like this one but we'll use this shot cut it off this is my lip lip balm from glossier i don't know that i like this one that much y'all know i forever be on a search for a lip balm because I got the driest damn lips in America, child. But it, it's also because I ain't been drinking no water. I've just, in general, not been taking care of myself. But y'all know, if you don't know, good for you. I'm glad your mental health is intact. Um, <laughs> but if you don't, baby, I ain't been drinking no water. That's why I was in the gym. Sick. Hurt. Dying. Okay, but just had my ginger shot drinking a little water now i have a smoothie because i probably won't eat like a big meal until my dinner which i may be doing dinner a little early now we're going to see um so boom going to the waldorf in about an hour because i want to use some of their amenities but i have a wax appointment because auntie is I missed one wax appointment and child, I just ain't been back, okay? But it ain't like we living that life out here. I wish, but I ain't, okay? So I haven't been to get a wax, but I'm gonna get in the hot tub today. So I need to get waxed. So here's the goal. It's 1.40 now. I need to run home, take a quick shower and literally head straight to the waxing studio. I was gonna do something in my hair before then and I don't know that I'm going to have time because I wanna be on time. They don't take long in the wax, but I need to get there on time. Also with that being said, I need to be leaving my side of town and headed to Buckhead to really enjoy what I wanna do by 3.15, 3.20 at the latest. So, in this short amount of time when I get home, lucky for me, I started getting stuff together, um, what I'm aware and all that good stuff, but I'm really just gonna be going home, letting my dog out, maybe trying to wrap this hair real quick. I think I will. I think I'm gonna wrap it during my my like appointment and I won't put any like heat on it until later tonight because my hair is very dirty right now. It's dirty and it's sweaty, so. That's it. Wanted to check in before I start moving around. All that good stuff. Thus far, though, we're happy. We're just happy to be outside enjoying life, child. I also want to see if I make it to the mall in time to buy me something nice today. But if not, I'm just going to order it online. A day of ease. That's what we're praying for, a day of ease. I've already felt extremely loved. I cried once today. I think that's on point for a birthday. 
cried at least once. I'm a Pisces. I'm emotional. I have emotions. I'm still crazy. I still get with you. But I have emotions. I'm an emotional being. I feel them all. Happy, sad, love, rage. I feel. Y'all, I really need to start paying my parking tickets, random ones that I get, because I'm afraid they're going to have me booted up one day. Anyway, I just thought of that because <laughs> I was trying to pay for my wax. Or I was trying to pay for parking before I got my wax. And um, they did it so fast. Like, I'm trying to pay and they are like literally ripping booth. So I couldn't, I couldn't necessarily pay that quickly. Anyway, we're done with that. It literally took them girls, that girl, 12 minutes to wax my vagina. So this gives me, <laughs> might be TMI, but this gives me a solid 10 minutes, not even 10, but 10 minutes to get home child this is a freaking fool but get home flat iron my hair and i'm gonna flat iron it and then i'm gonna um wrap it because it's really not that bad so get home flat iron my hair and leave because i want to enjoy what i'm paying for my spa amenities and i already know it's gonna take me a solid 20 minutes to get there so yeah the plan is to be leaving my house at 3 20 3 30 at the very latest but i'm making a time for 3 20 because i want to get there and enjoy my birthday i think i'm a book with her again i actually liked her and as i was booking with her the girl that i usually go to she came out but here's the thing she does a good job too but india ugh, india was very fast okay and i be giving the girls a lot to work with take that how you will auntie gives the girls a lot to work with so with that being said, India was quick. She was just like, bam, 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 like pulling it off. And then she also gave me a trick that will like, it's still gonna hurt, right? But it ain't gonna hurt that much. And that helped, it helped today. So I'm like, you know what, girl, I'll book you again. The only part that I don't like, of course, is when they be waxing yo behind. Child, I hate that. But we are about to head to the spa now. I just wanted to check in because we are making the sunk timing. But I don't think I'm going back home to get dressed up tonight. Here's why. When I just called them about my facial, I really thought I was going to be beating my face. But I don't think I'm going to be able to, or I should, it wouldn't be smart if I put any like makeup on my face immediately after getting my hair done. Also, I'm going to already be in Buckhead. Do I really want to come back? to where I live, which is close to downtown, and then go back to Buckhead like seven or eight o'clock? No, they don't be sitting in traffic for like 15 hours. It's a no for me, dog. So I think I'm gonna just jazz this dress up because this dress is cute. I just have a sweater on right now while I'm perusing the area, but yeah, that's my goal. I think, I think that's what we gonna do tonight. I'm pretty okay. It's a pretty decent birthday. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. So it's much later. It is the end of my birthday, obviously. I am back home. I am in the bed, okay? Um, the rest of my day went as such. I went. I had a beautiful spa experience, okay? Miss Mama's, her name started with the A. If I saw it, I would remember it. But she did 
all of the things on my face. Hold on real quick. So, I'm ending my birthday night <laughs> with the green juice about to get in bed. But all in all, it's been a pretty good birthday. It's been a great birthday. Not pretty good. I got an outpouring of love today. So much love. Love I didn't even like expect to receive. Um, I had a great dinner from New York Steak. I actually ended up bringing my food home. And it wasn't New York Steak, excuse me. It was New York Prime in Buckhead. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm not a steak girly, but that motherfucker like tonight, man. And I got it Oscar style. So maybe I really, I don't know if I really loved it because it was just like a good steak, which I felt like it was. And this was my first time I had my steak cooked medium. That was a good steak, okay? I have a workout in the morning. So maybe I will start a whole new vlog because Auntie ain't been recording or posting anything. But I'm not gonna continue to babble on. Just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my birthday vlog. I feel loved. And if nobody else told you today, I hope you feel loved too. Because you are loved, okay? Okay, boo. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'm gonna you. I'm gonna